not exactly my ties and Yahtzee out here. Why did you say that name? Say what you will about Tim Burton, but he did give us two solid Batman movies before Joel Schumacher came in and started slapping nipples on everything. And in the 90s, Warner Brothers hoped that Burton could repeat that success with Superman. Even better, they hired Kevin Smith to write a screenplay, and honestly, what could possibly go wrong? Look at it, kids. Take it all in. I said look at it! Yes, that's a long-haired Nicolas Cage dressed as Superman while posing for a police mugshot, apparently. And granted, the authenticity of that specific picture is disputed, but the fact remains, Nicolas Cage had at one point signed up to play Superman, and he got frighteningly close to actually doing it. According to Cage, I was gonna turn that character upside down, and man, I freaking bet! I did a bare ass 360 triple backflip in front of 22,000 people. <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's on YouTube, check it out. But when my dad got sick, I did something way crazier than that. And even though the prospect of Cage in tight red underwear screaming obscenities at children he's supposed to be saving is by itself a magical thought, it turns out that Cage's involvement was only the tip of this very crazy kryptonite iceberg. As I mentioned, Kevin Smith was brought in to write the screenplay, but he had to write around these ridiculous constraints imposed by producer John Peters, such as Superman couldn't be seen flying, and he wasn't allowed to wear his classic red and blue costume, and somehow, some way, Superman just has to fight a giant spider at the end. Does that last part sound kind of random? Well, hilariously, the giant spider thing is something Peters had been insisting on for years. He didn't even care what movie had a spider in it because, speaking of movie what ifs, Peter was also attached to a Sandman movie that was never finished in part because according to writer Neil Gaiman, Peters kept asking everybody, Did you know spiders are the fiercest creatures in the animal kingdom? Unrelated thought, but do you remember that giant mechanical spider that comes out of freaking nowhere in the Will Smith movie Wild Wild West? Yeah, guess who produced that? Finally, Peter's dream. It came true. So Peters is obviously just a little clinically insane. And back to Superman for a minute. What was Peter's reasoning behind changing Superman's costume? Well, he thought that the classic blue and red outfit looked too... Yeah, no, because nothing screams, I'm a heterosexual male, like tight, black, full body leather. Something that says, leather daddy? Oh, is there such a thing? But wait, there's more! Peters and Warner Brothers wanted the villain to be Brainiac and for him to punch literal polar bears at Superman's Fortress of Solitude. And Peters also thought Brainiac should have a robot sidekick described as a gay R2-D2 with attitude. And also, also, Lex Luthor should have a space dog because according to Peters, Star Wars Chewbacca was quote, cuddly, man. You could make a toy out of him. So you've gotta give me a dog. The toy angle was a big deal for Peters, and according to the art designer, Peters would bring kids in who would rate the drawings on the wall as if they were evaluating for toy possibilities. Director Tim Burton eventually hired Wesley Strick to completely rewrite Smith's script, given that by this point, it was probably this disfigured mess of gimmicks and toy commercials and gay robots and not gay supermen and so many spiders! But even still, Strick managed to incorporate another one of Peter's bonkers suggestions. Apparently, Brainiac and Lex Luthor would amalgamate into a mega villain called Lexiac, which is almost certainly already the name of a laxative. An evil laxative. Ultimately, Warner Brothers spent some $30 million burning through several more scripts, all presumably with bigger and gayer spiders, until Burton and Cage eventually just became fed up with all the stupidity and quit the project because, yeah, that's right, Peters was so crazy, he made Nicolas Cage go, eh, this is all getting to be a little wild for me, Nicholas. oh no, not the bees, oh, they're in my eyes, Cage. Truly, we were denied something special. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! I'm losing my eyes! My eyes! My father wore this cape. <laughs> this cape was handed down to me. It's from, exactly. This cape comes from a long line of Kryptonians who were at the top of their field in science and law <laughs> and performing arts. <laughs>